All right, hello everybody. This is Demon coming back for another round of Viggy 2 Germany. So, um, if I remember correctly, I think we had last episode where war has finally begun between us and I guess what you would consider the, uh, I actually don't know what you would refer to this to. Britain's not involved in this war. So, I will improve relations with them. The Ottomans thought it was a good idea to go to war with everything. You have France and the Italians getting into it. I'm giving subsidies to Italy. Um, Italy's forces are kind of focused down south. We have armies in the east. Was that new army getting fully created? It was. Excellent. The only thing I can really hope for is that Russia doesn't just swoop in through Austria-Hungary. Um, I'll try and improve relations with me and the Austrians. So let's go ahead and get this started. Sit there and see. They're running away there. I'd say run in. We're just going to try to go in as far as we can and start hurting the, uh, the French. They're focusing some of their troops in the south, which is a mistake. So, they want to focus their troops down there. I'll focus my troops up here. Okay, head here, head here, swoop in. Swooping, swooping works. So, so then I would love an alliance with comrades in arms. Even though I kind of helped the guys that you fought one time kick your ass. They hit us anywhere along this front, my troops are going in. Militarily, we're not the most advanced. But we're still more advanced than the Russians because we have machine guns. And we're still more advanced than the uh, French. So whenever... Which one are we researching? Raider Doctrine. Whenever this Raider Doctrine's done, we're going back to Army. I'm going to get Steel Breach Loaded Artillery. Alrighty, where is that Army? There's the weaker one. Fall back. In. Yep, there are those French troops. I knew they'd do it. Knew they'd try something stupid and try to attack me through the rear. How's it east looking? The east is holding. And the rest of this army will be done by August of uh, 29th. Okay, they're on a suicide path. I need one of you to fall back. We're going in. Sending in reinforcements, sending in reinforcements. Got more reinforcements. Kill that, kill that. Send in those boys, send in those boys. We have the numbers advantage. Naval base is good. Um, I definitely say the damage should go up. Alrighty. So let's back here. Two head in here. Oh, the army's down. Good. Two head back in. That should kill that Russian troop off. Yeah, we have a lot of provinces here. I want you to push here. You to fall back. You're gonna go in. Now, what is this war about? They have not fulfilled what they wanted. I want white peace.
can live with this. I can't really have this war going for too long. As much as I like kicking their ass and, you know, killing everything, it's just... I need peace to hopefully get rid of this stupid infamy. And you can't get rid of it if you're at war. Then there's a risk the Italians might get overwhelmed by um, rebellions because their army's getting its ass kicked. You know, the little things. Okay, this army is officially done. Okay, which one of you is missing an infantry? You were. Do this. German troop. Send them in. How's a colonial game doing? Colonies aren't doing bad. You guys got forced out, but that was expected. Okay, colonial fleet, you have nothing here. You're gonna head back up here. Do this. Do this. Any colonies we can still take. Not really. So, in terms of the colonial game, it is done. It is over. France and Britain are getting in on this. France and Britain again. Yeah, there's no real point in this. That's, a, that's all I said. That's the one thing I will say vehemently that I wish they would they would have switched in Vicky to. Or at least would update it. Is get rid of this infamy and how slow it is. Like, I know pop consciousness has an impact. I know the Geneva Convention, if I sign it, has an impact. But it's just like, why do you even have it if it takes so long to get through it? Oh, yes, we have naval bases. Like, it's just, I don't know. It feels like it's just a limiter. Because it's like, you have to basically wait for a great war to be able to do anything. Because the great wars are the ones that don't cost that much infamy. That or you release nations and make puppets out of them. Because it's like on these, they could, um... Brunei, give it four provinces. Zanzibar. Thing with Greece. All right, that's good. That's good. Go back to this. Build a new army. Then army will go to Konigsberg, guarding as much of the east as we can. Alrighty. Have the Ottomans done anything with the Suez? They have not. Well, seeing as I have no real purpose with that, I think I'm going to cancel any navy upgrades. I think what I will do, I think we'll go for military statistics and then get that defense up with, uh, it's a deep, or no, it's point defense systems. So we'll go for military statistics, point defense systems, um, go back through here, get realism, phenomenalism, then go back to commerce, get business, private banks, collectivist theory, and scientific management. Oh my god, can this thing go away? 
This is the dumbest event they ever put in there. Oh, it was minus five prestige. Oh, accept your ruin. It's just like, can you just not come up with something better than that? Ah, people are calling for more voting rights. We may have to end up doing them. I'll hold out for as long as I can. Eh, I don't care about the rich. I'm just taking prestige hits at this point. I, I honestly, that's ridiculous. You shouldn't get that event so much. That is the dumbest event ever. I feel like that got updated because I used to never get that event that much. Like when I played this game originally, that event would pop up, yeah, you know, every once in a while. Now it's like every single time I play this, it just like it's stuck in an infinite loop. It just makes playing this like such a boring thing. It's like, oh, you can't expand anymore because you have too much infamy. Okay? So how do I get rid of all the infamy? Oh, you just sit here for many years or you release countries because that makes sense. I will say that's the only issue I have with Vicky 2 is just this. It's just stupid. Shouldn't sign the Geneva Convention. I usually do it just for the meme. Come and get these point defenses up, build up the wall. Secret ballots. Okay, I so said we got that. We're gonna go to realism next. To be honest, I probably would go down to impressionism at this point. Oh my god, get rid of that stupid event! Every single time. In the lines. Military access. Can't do anything with those countries to the north. And do this. Once building up, build that up. This, 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 this. All good stuff. Good, that army's now done. Well, at least we got some territory out of this. The French will never really be a uh, threat. It's a thing. If you can take, if you take also Lorraine, you're usually good. But if you can take, um, what do you call it? Um, French Comte. It's pretty much done. I'm probably butchering that name, but I don't care. I'm not French, so. Okay, Germany itself is fully protected. You guys can head here. You guys can head up here to Konigsberg. Our government changed. We are now a republic. Congo. I'm not touching out a 10 foot barge pole. Increase relations. 
Give them military access. I'll side with the British probably in this. Because I don't support, I don't like France or nor Russia. We already fought a war that ended up in a victory for me, so. And I am ending up getting even more troops than I did last time, so their ability to launch an offensive will be pretty bad. Actually, you know, we have a really good economy right now. I think I'm just going to focus on this stuff. A prestige boost will be great. Alrighty. One thing I do have to look at real quickly, though. Um, do we have everything for the decision? Cologne has to have a steel factory. Alright. Something that'll piss everybody off for a little bit. Nationals party. Steel factory. Go back. I have a little bit of free time with this actually, wait a minute. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Alright, you know what? Since I got free time on this for a little bit. Do that. Okay, that place is filled. So here. It's also rain. use this time wisely. Artillery. Small arms. Uh, since we're in need of fuel. Build a steel factory. I don't have anywhere with oil. I do not. So, in response, what I would like to do is steamers. Steamer. Hanover. Steamer. Then up here in Kiel, build a fuel refinery. Brandenburg, do you already have a canned goods factory? You do not. For the dye, I need coal. Yep. Anywhere where we have... Do we have cotton anywhere? I don't think we do. A little bit of wood. Here we have the lumber. Here we have furniture. We do. Luxury furniture. Need rubber. We have a, we have a fabric place? Not. Was luxury. Let's see, where else can I build up at? We have a liquor distillery on here? We do not. Build me a liquor distillery. Build me another liquor distillery. And then here in Konigsberg, we'll build our... Oh, we already have a luxury. Excellent. Excellent. 
Uh, any more other places where we have fruit? We do. Oh, the winery's already been built. Alright. Thirteenth of September, so I gotta wait about a year. I can wait that long, I'm fine with that. People won't be happy for a little bit, but I think they'll get over it. Massive industry buildup, it's gonna be great. That factory is looking. Not bad. Anything else I could build? don't have access to. Now I guess we'll make secret ballots. Go for this. Is this Tunis? No. Okay, we gained back some of our lost prestige. Not all of it, but some of it. anymore game. Just take it all. Take it all. I don't care anymore. Pause the game. Two, three. You know I could build some of them. I just hate doubling up on it by accident. Uh, that, this, this, alright, new army's getting ready, this army will head to Memel, then the east is guarded. Add Sweet to our sphere of influence. Sweden is now our brothers. See, the west is held, the east is held. No. Good. All my armies are ready to go. And then what I'll probably do is I need to add another army here in Konigsberg, and I want Elbing. This will kind of guard the east as best it can. Um... I don't really care about that. I like money. Probably because they're a high literacy rate. Yeah, our literacy rate's pretty high. Okay, it's 1880. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll get this to boost our... Um... research and then what we'll do is spend the rest of this into electricity family additional five prestige excellent and now we should get an even bigger boost the only thing that's got cut back is the navy good 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 all right i'm done with this party get back to conservatism they originally won the election anyway, so I think people will be kind of happy they get back in power. Really shouldn't have any too many issues in terms of rebellions for a while. In terms of this, this is all good. 100 point boost, go for electricity, because I want my people to be able to live in the light.
All right, gentlemen, push here. You're in the clear. Oh, one of my armies are missing somebody. Is there an extra army there? Right here. I didn't realize I had an army in there. Uh, can I add a troop to that? Africa, is there an Asian portion? Not really. What are you guys missing? Infantry. I'll add a Somali troop to you. Seems like we are experiencing a bit of a um, recession. I think what we'll do is we'll go for electricity, then head through. I said I wanted to get Impressionism, but I might go for a line of this to get our industry boost. Okay, so these guys are going to get built up here. That's fine with me. Did nobody really colonize us? I played this one game where freaking, um... Who was it? I think it was the Ottomans. They, like, went crazy to get that. Oh, France has gotten the Suez. And our last hope of equality when it comes to getting out of the region is down. So the French would never let us use a neutral zone like the Suez. They'd be like, no, get out, we hate you people. Ah, it's powerful Germany though. As long as conservatism keeps working, I do not want liberals in power. I hate having to deal with them. They're idiots. They have no idea what the hell they're doing. Oh, we come into power. We we get rid of all the money. But where all the money go? Nobody can work because we put subsidizing. Then everybody gets bitchy because they can't work. It's just like, yeah. You get rid of the guys that were opening your businesses. They actually wanted you to succeed. Good. Oop, I just seen a big boom. Somebody bought a bunch of stuff. Oil, excellent. All right. Hmm. Commerce or industry? I and mean, there's some things in commerce that are really nice, like factory input. I think overall we just need better commerce. Then we'll hit the industry. So we'll do business banks, private bank money, Collectivist theory, scientific management, and then go back the other way. Ooh, our consciousness is getting high. I like how it tries to tell you your upper house. 40% level we get the conservative during power. That army's ready. I don't know what you are. I just know you're over here still because the Russians didn't eat you. 
Yeah, we're gonna go for business banks, private bank money. Like, we're gonna go through this whole thing, and then I'm gonna boost my industry back. Alright, what do people want? They want a minimum wage. Okay, I have a better idea. How about we go for... Healthcare. See, I told you all we needed was a tax efficiency boost, and magically enough, the economy's fixed. Private bank money, collectivist theory, scientific management, boost the industry up, bam, economy's fixed. Then that, then get probably army risk management, military logistics, evil rep after that. Pretty good game so far. It's really just an industrial build till my infamy drops. Although I will say this much, if I can get it down underneath 14 to 14 or 13, I probably will declare it. I probably would go to war for something. But Put your gears, excellent. Go for collective theory, scientific management, get a little bit of input, efficiency boost for the uh, factories. We're pretty much ready to go. Okay, Koningsberg's done. Building. Get the last army ready, and then the Eastern Front should hold in, in theory. At least I hope it will. I definitely see the Russians going through here a lot. I don't know about this side. And I know for the French, they won't push me, but I will push them. Go for trinket pensions. Then hit unemployment. 14 hour workday, and then immediately go for low minimum wage. I'm surprised the Italians haven't wanted to go for Austria-Hungary. Although with that, uh, that British alliance, that is not well. Yeah, that import efficiency should definitely do something for this. Okay, the calves in there. This. Good. Army's done. The E should hold. for the combustion engine. Hmm. Don't really need a new colony. Hmm. I'd rather the one group get what they want. That's why I said it's good to use the um, minimum wage movement to get other things done. You always want to get a good school system no matter what. Get trinkets and all of this, 14 hour workday to kind of calm the masses and then hit low minimum wage. That way you at least have some of the other reforms done in time. Portugal, I could really not use an alliance with you right now.
Alrighty. So we're gonna do that. Assembly line. Advanced metallurgy. Go back here, get army risk management. Go back to culture, get impressionism and experimental psychology. Come back here, get military logistics. I think that'll work. But I think, unfortunately, I do have to end the episode here. Um, we got a fair bit more done. I'm quite happy with it. Um, Germany is no longer the German Empire because we had to pass some reforms. Otherwise, we would have all out rioting of her. Um, I don't see me passing any more political reforms. First past the post is fine enough by me. Usually means conservatives will usually win. You start getting into these ones, it can get kind of iffy. In terms of the upper house, appointed is best. Two per state. Again, it started slowly starts taking your power away um, from being able to do anything politically. Um, as I said before, um, I think the next one we'll go for is a 14-hour workday, then go for low minimum wage, and then hopefully the masses have calmed down. Um, I know some of them are fighting for safe working conditions, but again, if we have most of this stuff done i'm fine with them doing limited safety regulations so please like subscribe leave a comment down below we come back ladies and gentlemen germany coming back into it and we'll hopefully have our infamy dropped enough i did notice since i started doing the fallback stuff magically enough i haven't had the event pop up which is really stupid um but i just don't know where else to push i mean in theory we could go for more of france France is sitting at pretty 10 million people. I'm sitting at seven, almost 18 million. Russia has nine. Wait, that's not good. My population's catching up to Russia in terms of what can get sent out. Army sits at 162. Mine sits at a solid 205. It's gonna be 210. Yeah, my land army is massive. The only other country that come close to my land army size is Britain, and I'm assuming they're not that good in military tech, right? Oh, they got 17 of 30. How many you got? 13 of 30. 10 of 30. Okay, the Russians are starting to catch up. How many techs do we have currently? 20. How many did I say you had? 13 so they're down four techs that's actually not good you know what we might do i might have to do combustion engine and then do the rest of the military tech i need to be militarily superior to every one of my rivals because if i'm not military superior france can push in and start doing damage to me and then while i'm dealing with an overzealous france the east could easily fall as i nitpick reinforcements westward so I think that's what we'll get ready for. I think we're going to make the assumption France is going to be too powerful. So uh, as I said, please listen, guys, and I'll see you in the next round of Vicky 2 Germany. See you then.